for having us here. Um, yes, um, this uh, just a, you know I'll I'll give you the brief overview of the story. Um, I met um, Dr. Ahrens about two and a half years ago. I was privileged to be one of the first people in Canada and in the world, I guess, to try the product in this realm of network marketing and. Um, I handed it out to 30 or 40 of my closest friends and I didn't know if I was you know, going to see a lot because I thought I was pretty healthy. But within days, things started happening to me that I wasn't even, I didn't even realize because you, know, you, you take things for granted with your health. Especially if you just have a positive attitude, you just kind of, you know, hide pains and you, you suffer through them and different things that happen. So I started having way more energy, but a real kind of full balance type of energy, not a hyper kind of, you know, anxiety kind of energy. So I thought this is really good. I just felt, I didn't even know how to describe it. I just felt joyful and full. And then I started sleeping better and, um, you know, then little things started happening, like my skin started to improve, and little fine lines and veins started to disappear, and moles started to lessen. Now, this is going over weeks now. This is going into weeks. And uh, then, you know, old injuries, like I had a, a lower back kind of problem that creeps up every once in a while, usually once or twice a year, and I have to go to a special chiropractor for that, a NUCA chiropractor. And... Um, I just started to try and address it with Emulin. So I would saturate with Emulin when that would happen. I'd take, you know, a hand, I call it a handful, but it would be like six or eight a day. And instead of, you know, by the time I made the appointment to go see the chiropractor, the pain was gone. It had gone from like a 10 to a six to a four to a zero. And then I had, uh, I tore my rotator cuff. And the doctor said it was going to take, um, a year and there's nothing we could do and you just have to you know deal with it well it was excruciating I had to hold my arm against my body and could not even move it so I couldn't like heart I couldn't dress myself or anything except what I could get on with one hand and it was just horrible well in three months it was completely gone I mean it was just like how can this even happen and then a year later, I got a frozen sh shoulder, and I had a kayaking lesson planned. This was on a Sunday morning. By Thursday night, it was gone, and I went kayaking on Friday. So I'm, I'm telling you, this is not a joke. This is serious stuff because, you know, if you know people who have had um, past injuries, like a you know, maybe a head injury from sports or a car accident or, you know, all the soft tissue damage and that that people get in car accidents. It's, it's terrible for them. They have to live with it for the rest of their life. Well, now we're starting to see people over the, you know, several months and then a year and then two years. They're like, this thing that I dealt with for 25 years is gone. Um, I mentioned the other day on Facebook, a keloid scar that I had it was there for, you know, over 15 years and didn't have any feeling in that area and was like slid open from hip to hip when I had that surgery and it's, com it's, it's completely fine. It's like a fine little white line. There's no scar at all and the feeling's back. Well, that's no little thing. That's a big thing. So all of these things have happened over the past two and a half years. But what happened that was unpleasant was the company that we were with um, was greedy and horrible. Kind of like the one Dave Jordan, you know, had his um, experiences with a couple of times. And, you know, that exists not just in network marketing, but it, in, it exists in the corporate world as well. You know, I have lots of friends that are, were pink slipped, walked out of their office on a Monday morning and, and were in shock, calling me crying because they'd lost their job. So, you know, th there are people out there like this. And, you know, we are just so blessed because we... In a week when that happened to us, um, one of my business partners and in my business was Dory O'Neill, as you all know, and he had met Dave Jordan about 18 months prior to that and had they kept in touch. And he said, you know, I think we could find a home here, Jana. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm just so devastated over this. The only thing that I am more devastated about is that we had started on this path 
introducing people to Emulin and thousands and thousands of people started getting well. And you know, Ron Borsma's here. He's one of my incredible people that I work with. And he, he I'm sure he'll share some um, testimony tonight about how he, his experience with Emulin and the people that he has touched with this product. So we were very passionate about it. And one of the things that we asked Dave Jordan is, would he consider bringing Dr. Aaron's in? And he said, absolutely. He wanted to leave a legacy and he could see that we were so passionate about it. I know he went on trust. Believe me, he went on trust because how did he know what this was going to do? And he was so busy already. And Valentis was so successful with the fantastic Optimum Coffee. And that's a great introduction. I love that. It's just so easy for people to talk about. Um, but he said yes. And then I found out that Dr. Chi and John Haremza were in the company. So for me, that was a done deal. I love those two guys. I've worked with them, you know, 10 years ago. And I, they're, they're just the best. So it was an easy transition to say yes. And then we just had to get to work, of course. And we had to wait for Emulin to be available. We had to go through the process, the litigation process, and everything that had to be done. And we were willing to do that. But we, those of us who have been on Emulin can't be without it. I mean, we do recognize this as an essential vitamin. It is something that all of our bodies need. Those flavonoids or molecules are missing. So uh, that's kind of the little story about how we got here. We moved my, you know, my whole team over in respecting the genealogy and bless Dave for doing that and, and working with us on it because you know it was a really tough thing for them to do and they were just so gracious and I know that and all of you you are like our family you have helped us so much and have been so kind to us and have just embraced us and I I've never seen that ever in over 40 years of being in this industry I love network marketing, but the downside is there are people that are not very kind and that are not particularly, you know, in that contribution or that gratefulness mode all the time. There, there's a lot of competition in companies, and I'm just really, really thrilled that we have the most amazing group of people that we could ever, ever have. So it's, it's incredible. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for being so eager to come and help us. It's what a shame that my my um, camera's not working for some odd reason. I have no idea why. I have thought about walking out and coming back in, but I'm not going to do that. Um, they don't need to see me. Oh. So, but I'm just really so excited to have your help because I think that a lot of us do have questions. And um, I want to encourage everybody, whatever your questions are, if you want to type them in the comments, that would be really great. And in the meantime, would you like to, um, I want you to really take control over this Zoom and introduce your team, the ones that are here, their testimonies that they would like to share. But I do have one other question that I want to throw out before I forget it. Yeah. And that is, when people get on the Emulin, do they generally get on it and stay on it for years? Is that typical? Forever. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's going to be awesome for all of us for reorders. Yes, you have to. So here is the first thing. I'm going to give you a little overview about Emulin so you understand. And then if you want, um, I can also explain the layering of 24-7 and how it works and adds on to Emulin. So Emulin is the basis of what we need in our body to manage inflammation, to manage carbohydrates, sugars, and processed foods. Now, when we start taking Amulin, you'll start seeing that you actually don't have cravings for carbs and sugars and processed foods like you did. In fact, here's an example. Uh, Dr. Aaron's, he, I said to him, oh, my downfall are these potato chips in Canada. They're called Miss Vicky's and they're lime and black pepper. And when I open the bag, I eat the whole bag. And I'm not joking. I, I do. My husband will say, you know, you've got to stop eating those. We're, having, we're going to have dinner. And I'm like, I just, I just go, okay. And then I, I'm back in there and I'm leaving. So I would eat the whole bag and I, I, that was terrible. Like that, not, not a good thing to do. 
he said, well, you know what? You'll find in a few months that you can eat just a handful. And I went, oh, I'll never believe that because I just, you have no idea how I love these chips. Well, one day, a few months later, and it did take a few months, I open the bag, take a little handful, I'm eating them, and I'm like, hmm, I don't think I really want these anymore. Close up the bag and put it in the cupboard. I like, literally could not even believe that I was doing this myself. So you're going to start losing cravings, and you've got to listen to you, your body. So don't just keep eating them. Go, hmm, okay, I don't need these anymore. Make sure that you do that because that's part of the process of going carb-less. So in other words, you can eat the slow carbs, you know, the vegetables and fruits that, you know, are good for you. But, you know, when it comes to the things that aren't, you, you don't want to eat copious amounts of them because it's not good for you. And then, you know, the emulin has to work harder. So what it does is emulin grabs those calories from those fast carbs and sugar that when, when they hit your tongue, your body recognizes them as poison. So your body wants to grab those calories, throw them into the fat cells to protect you. And what it does is it creates obesity and pain and adds to disease and all, all the stuff that's happening in your body. So emulin is a chaperone and a manager for those things. So it takes some of those calories, redirects them to your brain and your muscles that actually need glu glucose. Your brain lives on glucose, so it needs that. And then the rest is flushed out through your urine. So it's a very incredible process. So do we need emulin in our body every day? Absolutely. Now, can you imagine this from our standpoint? We are in this business to move product, right, people? We're moving product. Now, imagine that you don't have to really do any work once that person is on the product and starts to feel those benefits and they stay on this product. And if they get off it, believe me, they start either feeling those pain issues again, getting that swelling again, not feeling so good, not sleeping so good, not having that energy. Believe me, they will be calling you for that emulin again. So when people get on emulin, we have thousands of people that are on emulin that we know. They will, they were called, when we left that other company, they were calling us screaming and crying. And I'm not overreacting here. I'm telling you, I, I was like horrified. I didn't know what to do because some of these people were, you know, had gotten, gotten off their meds, serious meds for blood sugar issues and um, hot blood pressure issues and pain and all sorts of things. There's Eileen shaking her head, and I know Ron is too. We were really afraid, and we had to find a solution. So, of course, Dr. Ahrens um, created a private reserve in the meantime for our team, and we were able to get our emulin there um, temporarily until, you know, Dave could take uh, emulin on board. And that's why we launched our first product with Valentis called 24-7. And when 24-7 came to me, because we got it here first, right, Eileen? We, we had, <laughs> we're always the test bunnies. Um, we got all the product and we handed it out to all of our people to get started so that we could have some testimonies when we went to Las Vegas. And lo and behold, if it wasn't just fat loss and weight loss, because this is a carb burner. This is a product that starts to normalize your body in other ways. And um, some people were actually out of their amulin and just went on the 24-7 and found that it was helping them in way more ways than just the fat loss and the weight loss. They were, um, Eileen was the one that brought it to me. She said, all the cellulite is gone on the back of my legs. And I said, you know, we were in Las Vegas, and when she told me this, and I, I said, well, mine isn't. And she said, well, let me see. And we were in the bathroom getting ready, and um, I had like a long dress on over my bathing suit, and I lifted up this dress, and she goes, you don't have any. And I went, you're kidding me. She said, no, it's gone. I said, well, I noticed that this hormonal issue that's on my chin and just sort of in this area of my face that I, it started happening when I was 50, and I had great skin until then. Like, why is this happening? I was so disappointed was all gone. 
my skin cleared up, my skin, skin tightened. I had a little mole here on my face. It's completely gone now. And it was getting bigger and bigger. Like these are things, you know, fine lines, all this stuff layers because the amulin is the basis for your good health. These are, you know, this, this product ha carries the flavonoids. So the mericetin, the quercetin, and the chlorogenic acid, those combination, that perfect combination of extracts in its perfect formula took two and a half years to discover. They ran the supercomputers at UCLA and at another university in Sweden for two and a half years every night for 12 hours. Can you imagine the millions and millions and millions and millions of combinations that that computer went through to come out with the perfect combination for Emulin? To get that formula correct, this is not a little thing. That's why it's patented. This is a huge discovery in science and research. This is not a Me Too product. It is not like, oh, well, we have this. No, you don't. When people say that to me, oh, I, we have something just like Emil, and I went, no, you don't. You do not. I'm really like, oh, my goodness, because they don't. They don't have anything like Emulin. They might have something that does a couple of things, but they do not have something that is going to balance your health from the inside out like Emulin. It is the missing essential vitamin that our body needs, every single body, as Eileen will tell you. So I'm going to bring um, uh, now on the call, I'd like to introduce one of my great leaders and a beautiful friend of mine. We've worked together for years and I, uh, I just love her because she, she's so positive but she also has the knowledge of being an RN and she works with patients all the time and she's going to tell you a couple of amazing stories about Emulin. So I'd like you to welcome my beautiful friend Eileen Durham. Hi, thank you. Thank you everyone for having me on this call. Hi Lorena. <laughs> um, I, I don't even know where to start beyond, besides being so excited that we have Emulin on board. I've been with the product, um, taking the product now myself for two and a half years. And I've actually just had a, a really tough day and I'll explain it to you guys a little bit here. But a couple months ago, my son who's also been on the product and is 22, um, we ran out of the product during the transition period that we were going through. and he went sideways and so my son he's 22 he has autism and he has had significant behavioral issues his whole life and when he was in his teen years i had to have him moved out of my home four nights a week because he was threatening to hurt my daughter every single night and i would block the door so she could study and he would be at the doorway trying to get in at her so our, the behaviors were very, very critical. They were impacting everyone in our house. And the police were involved on a regular basis. We had a care plan with them. So if they had to come and take him to a safe place, then they could do that. So that was probably about five or six years ago. When he turned 19, three years ago, he, we moved him into a trailer on my parents' property. And at that time, he moved into the trailer he got to sleep in his bed for the first time in four to five years, seven nights a week. He was out of his bed four nights a week. And just imagine what that would be like in a different home every single night. But that was what we needed to do to keep him in the couch and valley, to keep him close to us and surrounded by the caregivers that he had. So at the same time, a couple months after he moved into the trailer, we started it on him on Emulin. And this kid's behavior was so amazing. He was appreciative, he was empathetic, he was loving, he, he, and he had that in him all the time, but he had these meltdowns and the meltdowns disappeared. And so I was thinking, hmm, is that the emulin? Maybe, maybe not, but there's so many other things that were taking place. In January this past year, my nephew who works for me didn't realize the white bottle with the C on it was emulin because the packaging had changed. And so trainer didn't get the emulin for four days. 
and we started seeing some behaviors go sideways. We quickly um, fixed it, got him back on the emulin, and things had settled. Now jump forward to when we went to Vegas at the end of, no, end of March. We had run out of the product and we were out of it for a good two weeks. And the behaviors my son exhibited were absolutely appalling. He was wanting to hurt his friends. He was wanting to hurt his caregivers. He was belligerent. He wouldn't change his clothing. He was telling everyone where to go. And these are behaviors we hadn't seen for two and a half years. And so I knew in my heart of hearts that the only thing that changed was we were out of Emulin. So we got him back on the product and things improved. But during that time frame, he had such a significant meltdown that my nephew had to restrain him and hold him down on the bed. And that's what I was dealing with today because two and a half months ago, this happened and now they are looking at our situation and trying to determine whether or not my son is safe to live in the place he's living. So it's been a difficult day, but I'm saying to them, you can come and check it out. My son is thriving with Emulin. He is thriving in the environment he's living in, and you wouldn't, there isn't a better setting for him. So it breaks my heart that I'm having to fight this hard again, and I'm so angry. But the bottom line is, this is a product that changes lives. I've seen it change so many lives, and I sit in my desk at work, and I go out and see clients, and my specialty is dementia care, and I go out and see clients in their senior years with comorbidities, with diabetes, with Alzheimer's, with vascular dementia, with arthritis, and every single one of those clients I know would do better on Emulin. In the system I work in, I can't even offer it because it's against all um, against my specialty and such. And I can't wait for the day when I'm out of nursing, retired from nursing, and I can actually say to people, this is what you need to try. And I say to everyone, you need to try it for at least four months. You, you need to stay on it. You need to be religious with it. And you will notice a change. At two and a half years, I still notice changes. There are still things that have changed in my life. And what was really um, relevant for me with my son is his diet changed. Now, this is a young man who would not have been able to change his diet by thinking, I don't want to eat carbs anymore. I just want salad and meat. There's, there's no way he would have been able to do that. This, this kid was a carboholic. He would take 12 granola bars. Actually, one day he ate 17 hot dog wieners when our caregiver didn't show up and he decided he was hungry. He doesn't do that anymore. He wants the salad and he wants the meat. And he'll have a little bit of pasta or some potatoes, but he is not craving those anymore. He wants the good food that's going to make him feel good. And I, I don't know how many saw my little video clip I did the other day, but I decided to introduce him to the world and say, you know, here's my son. And, and he can honestly say, Emulin makes him feel better, it makes him sleep better, and it improves his mood by giving a thumbs up. And um, I, I myself would not be without this, and my son will never. He'll have mine before if I'm running with, if he's running short, this kid will never be without it again. And it has, uh, his doctors are now referring to, to me about getting people that they know on the product because it just makes such a huge difference. So that's my story. <laughs> that's a pretty incredible story, Eileen, and that's why it needs to be told because this is an area of health that you know so many parents deal with and I every day in fact I have four today four testimonies that came in today from people I don't even know um, I know there's some questions on on here um, on the chat and we'll answer those but they address them right away people are telling me their their pain from fibromyalgia is gone and in in days in days when they've suffered for years and years this is we hear this every day people every day this is, this is not new. This is uh, un unbelievable how we can change people's lives and enhance their health so quickly and dramatically and for the long term. So with that, I'd like to invite my dear friend Ron Borisma, who is an expert in the health industry as well, 
and I'd like him to share a little bit about what he knows about Emulin. Ron. Hey, Jenna. Thank you very much. Uh, Eileen, always great to hear your testimonies and your knowledge on this product because it is really a unique product that every human being needs to be on from womb to tomb, I've heard. <laughs> so that's so true. You know, and, and it is the missing link. In fact, um, my wife Donna and I have been using the product for about three years, two and a half years, I guess now, and uh, she had taken a tumble in the fall. The uh, leaves were on the ground. We were walking, and the sidewalk had a raise in it of about oh an inch and a half, and kind of caught her toe on it, went down, landed on her shoulder, and that shoulder tear, really, what it was. I mean, didn't go check it out medically, but you. you Rotator cuff, you know, and that's a problem. And it bothered her for years and years and years. And literally, we got the emulin. And when she would wake up in the middle or turn in the bed at night, I could hear her groaning like it was so painful. Well, we got an emulin. And four days later, now before this emulin came in, she always woke up on her back to take the sheet and lift it off her, just the sheet, not a blanket or anything, a sheet. She could not lift it off without pain. Four days, four days of Emulin lifted that sheet off with no pain whatsoever. And the range of motion came back. And I think of my dad so often when I think about Emulin because when he was uh, probably about the age I am now, 75, he was hit by a bicyclist when he walked off from steps at City Hall, wound up with a frozen shoulder, and, you know, at that age, things don't heal quite well, and especially if you've had a lot of digestive issues, which he did. He had Crohn's disease. And uh, there's, there's so many times I've thought if we had these products then, oh, boy, I could do for my family, my parents, my mother, my dad, so many people. But the range of motion, for me, too, I had a rotator cuff injury as well. And within days, that rotator cuff, just the, the pain is gone. And about a year and a half ago, we were out walking again in the fall time of the year, and we're going down a hill, so we're going at a pretty good clip, close to five miles per hour. And there was a uh, nut, like a walnut, underneath the leaf, and I stepped on it, twisted my ankle, and went down literally like a sack of potatoes. I thought I broke both wrists. I thought I broke ribs. I hurt my knee. And, and then I had to walk home a mile and a half. <laughs> which was really not a lot of fun. Uh, my nose was kind of bleeding a little bit, uh, just a surface um, boom wound on it, actually. But uh, anyway, the next day, well, actually the second day later, we were out walking four miles with no pain in anywhere. Now, it took a little while for my wrist to get better and just the movement, I would say maybe about a week. But, I mean, it was so severe, I honestly thought they were broken. And whether they, I don't think they were, but boy, it was so painful. It was unbelievable. But what Emulin has done in the body, uh, Jana talks about the skin too. Uh, Donna's skin, uh, she'll be 75 in August. And if you saw a close up of that girl's face, she does not look 75 years of age. Um, I'm told that I don't look my age either. Uh, the skin, the tone, the texture. Uh, all over the body. It's just truly, truly an amazing product. But what it does in the body, and what's hard for a lot of people to get, because in our culture today, we're bombarded. Since I was a kid, there's been television. Television is all about commercials, selling pharmaceuticals. So we've been brainwashed to think that we need a medication to treat a symptom, and we don't really know what the cause of that symptom is. So, you know, if it's a pain, we take an aspirin or a Tylenol. But, you know, my question, I'm that little four-year-old boy, I want to say, well, why do we have that pain? Well, I fell and hurt my, you know, so, okay, maybe then it's a time where that may be necessary to take a Tylenol or an aspirin. But that really didn't fix the problem. That just caused the pain to disappear while the body did what it's designed to do, and that's naturally heal itself. I, I drive kids for an after-school daycare program, and, and we get into these discussions a little bit because they're really inquisitive. They're like kindergarten through sixth grade. And I said, okay, I've cut my fingers often as a kid. Do you see any scars? 
is it still bleeding? Hmm, no. Now, my question to them is, and it's kind of in a way that they'll get it, but did that Band-Aid actually heal that wound? No, I guess not. Well, then what did? Well, I guess my body did, right? And they'll, yeah, they'll kind of get it. So I try to use those illustrations, or I had a lady in my office one day, and, and she had an 11-year-old who was dealing with ADHD, and you know, we were trying to get around to diet. And kids at that age don't want to change their diet a whole lot. But I said, you know, you're, you're drinking a lot of soda pop. You're eating ice cream and all that kind of stuff. And it's really not doing your body a lot of good. So let me ask you a question. I see that car that you got out there in the parking lot that you came in with your mom. Now, that takes specific kind of fuel, right? And I said, like gasoline? He said, yeah, gasoline. I said, well, why don't you just put water in that gas tank? That ought to work. It's a liquid. And the mother kind of goes like, don't give that kid any ideas, you know? He's already dealing with challenges. Well, and the kid says, well, that would be dumb. It's not designed for that. I said, oh, exactly right. So what's our bodies designed for? Coca-Cola? Uh, all these other products that you're putting in your body that you're feeling agitated? and you can't settle down, your mind is wandering all over the place. So why do we need emulin? Because emulin is a nutrient that the body is lacking, and when we get it in, the body will do what it's created to do, and that's create, my favorite word, homeostasis, or balance. And when I was studying and taking my courses in nutrition, the doctor, uh, Robert Preston, a dear, dear, dear friend, gone for about 10 years now, but you know, he would stop in the middle of a sentence and he'd say, now class, what's the word? And we would all in unison say, balance, Dr. Preston, balance. And that got drilled into my brain so much that when I look at any product, uh, nutritional product, or if I look at a medication that people are taking, are they going to balance our bodies? That's the key. And if they're not, then they're going to do harm. In fact, you can do a lot of harm even with a lot of natural things, if you're taking it to treat a symptom. You can go to the health food store and, you know, people get a book out, and I started out that way. I would look in the book and say, oh, I've got this condition, you know, I better take this. It's natural. It's not a drug. Well, a good example, and I've told this story before, and some of you probably have heard it, and I'll tell it again because it's really a good one. I was on a radio talk show, and the lady called in, and she says, well, what do you do for hemorrhoids? I said, ma'am, uh, you're really asking me the wrong question because the question needs to be, why do you have hemorrhoids? So I said, well, the, the reason you probably have hemorrhoids is because you're eating a lot of carbs and you're probably consuming a lot of sugar and maybe a lot of dairy product. And if you have worked with paper mache, you know, you're creating something that's kind of liquidy when it goes in. But then if there's not enough water in the body, that gets hard like a cast. And that's going to cause the colon to be all plugged up. And then to get that waste out, which needs to go out regularly, you need to push and push and push, and you're going to break a vein and you've got a hemorrhoid. So I said, the question is, no, why do you have it? She says, but what do you take? <laughs> oh, you know, it's so hard for people to get that concept through in our minds, but once we can find those little ways, whether it's like the kid with the Band-Aid or the gasoline and the water in the fuel tank or, you know, putting the right raw material in is the key. And boy, with Volentis, we've got some right raw materials. Emulin, powerful, powerful, powerful. In fact, I've been working on creating a t-shirt to get some interest peaked in this product and I've uh, got a little sneak peek and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. Is it anywhere clear? Yes, it is. Yes, it's awesome. Fantastic. So what it says on the top, ask me about the discovery of a lifetime. And then it's prevail, or a, a Valentus prevail, and then emulin, the sugar chaperone, and below it, the missing link. So it's going to grab, hopefully, some people's attention when I'm at the farmer's market. Because if people have eyes to see, they're going to look at an older couple with white hair that looks in pretty decent shape for the age. So hopefully somebody will say, well, what's that mean?
and that's going to grow my business. And I've got one for the Slimrose Optimum as well, and I'm working on others as well. But um, I love design work. But yeah, it's it's truly amazing. And and 24/7, I know we're not talking about on this call, but boy, you put those two together, I am sleeping like a baby. Uh, when you're 70, nearly 76, and you're a man with a prostate gland that is swollen to some degree, uh, and you don't get up at all anymore at night since the 24-7 came in, and I go from 11.30 to 7 in the morning without a problem, and wake up really refreshed in the morning, feeling great, uh, boy, we've got a couple of products here that are just powerful. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ron. You're welcome. Appreciate your input all the time. All right. So, Diana, where would you like us to go from here? Where I would like to go, <clears throat> I want to ask um, Sonia, if you're sitting, I don't know if you're uncomfortable, if you would be comfortable just uh, unmuting yourself and asking her your questions, or do you want us to read them? I would really like it if you had a conversation. And the reason is, um, Sonia, go ahead and just unmute yourself if you're willing to do that. She has a very severely ill adult son who is actually in the hospital right now. He's got diabetes. He's got um, neuropathy. He is in huge pain. He's like crying in the hospital. He hurts so much. Um, he has been sick for all the time that I have known her, like acutely, horribly sick. And she's just wondering, you know, will this, will the emulin help? How do you know how much to take? Yeah. And when is the best time to take it? I don't know if you've been looking at the questions that have been. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at them here and, and. Uh, she's coming up as Raven's hair. Yes. And she doesn't have a microphone. So um, okay. I'm going to answer them. So first of all, um, I think there was one about um, fibromyalgia. And I don't know if that was hers or if it was someone else's. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so um, it definitely addresses fibromyalgia. You, you, I, I just have a, a, a testimony that came in today. And uh, let me just read what she said. Um, I've got so many, it's crazy. It's just unbelievable how every day they're coming in, but there was one about fibromyalgia here. Hi, Jenna. It, yes. It's Aline here. I think, I think what we all have to remember is any, any form of infl inflammation in your body, except for, well, even acute inflammation, it will help oh, you with. Oh, yeah. So um, the, the key thing to remember is don't get stuck on the, the disease process that's happening. Right. We need to take a step back. What we're looking at is emulin will help with inflammation. It will help with carb management. And so the answer for um, Sonia is yes, most likely your son will get some relief, if not a lot of relief from taking emulin. I've seen people that have been absolutely crippled with arthritis and have improved on emulin. I've seen people that have had really high blood sugars improve on emulin. I've seen people, well, including myself, I used to get out of bed like an old lady. I couldn't walk in the morning. It would take about half an hour. I'd have to have my shower. And I don't have any of that anymore. There's none of that aches and pains that you generally get, that it's gone. Now I'll have the occasional ache and pain, but when that happens, I pop up my emulin and I take four. What my, even acne will respond to emulin. Um, my son, I, he has had a horrible, horrible case of acne in his face for years. He's got all the pock marks from it. But with being on emulin at four a day, it comes out in the skin as well as the urine. And so it improves his skin. And so he's got better um, healing that's happening. And, and as long as we keep his hands away, because as soon as he starts picking, things get can get quite red and angry again, but he heals faster. Um, Dr. Aarons has put up pictures of burns that within four days heal and there's no scar that's left following. So it's, it's very, and you're healing from the inside out. So people are going to want to see a response in a week. I had someone post something this, this week about not seeing a response and I'm like, how long have you been on it? And it was four days. Mm -hmm. Don't expect it in four days. If you see it in four days, that's wonderful. 
expect it in four months because that's what you need to be on it. You need to be on this product for at least four months to see what it's doing. And I'll tell you, it was four, six, eight, 12 months. I was still getting benefits. My, my brother who was on it was complaining about having um, dandruff. And so he was taken and he said he couldn't believe that it got rid of his dandruff. And my son who had an injury on his head and had significant flaking that happened in that area, I thought, oh, that's interesting. I should take a look. And that was about at four months. I took off his hat. There was no dandruff and there has not been dandruff since. And he had that for about seven years where that area of that scar tissue would constantly flake. So um, psoriasis, eczema, um, I had cracking on my heel, that's gone. I had cracking on the, my heel from the time I was 18 from an old injury, and that is gone off my heel now. It, and you just don't know. You don't know what it's gonna to impact, but if it's got inflammation behind it, you can be almost guaranteed you're gonna have improvement. Thank you, Eileen, that's exactly right. So really, that is the basis of every question. Doesn't matter what question is asked, the root cause of almost every single thing that we suffer from and obesity is inflammation. So when you consider that, it addresses everything in the body. That is the root cause and Emulin is going to start reversing that inflammation. So the, the pain or the suffering or the disease or whatever it is starts to lessen and lessen and lessen as your body gets better and better able to heal itself. So, you know, I think now we're re we recognize that Hippocrates was right when 2,400 years ago he said, let, let medicine be thy food and food be thy medicine because this is exactly what we're doing now. We're introducing the food back into our body that is missing, and now we're starting to heal. This is remarkable, beyond, and it's bringing so much relief to people. Now, I know there's a question on the chat about um, availability. It's available to um, reps only right now, and you, you can order one only at a time. So you can order it today and you can order it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. The reason it's only one unit is Dave wants everyone to have a chance to be able to get some. But I have lots of people that have ordered three, four days in a row to make sure that they can have enough bottles on hand for the interim. The, the product will be arriving very, very soon in the next few short weeks. It'll be in the warehouse. The M will be available. And then after that, the C will come in again, because right now we only have a limited um, offering of the C. And that was because I, uh, Dave Jordan bought everything that Dr. Aaron's had left. Um, and the C the, helps with the diabetes or sugar balance, correct? I didn't try not okay. to use the word diabetes. Um, yeah, the C is for anyone with um, high blood, blood pressure and sugar issues, high blood sugar as well. Okay. So that would be the C. But everyone can take the C. It's just that the M was introduced to allow people to lose more weight because it pulls more glu glucose out of the fat cells. And um, so we don't want that happening to people with blood sugar issues. What if they have low blood pressure? Um, it'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay. It won't cause low blood pressure. And when somebody is chronically ill, as her son is, yeah. Yeah, how much could he take? Like, let's say she had it today. How much should, could she give him? He should, uh, I mean, if he can tolerate and he's fine, because I, I, I don't find that there's a real transition with Emulin, like with other things. I find that people can take an, a saturated dose right away. Um, and I'm not sure exactly why they can, but it seems to happen quite easily for most people. So he would probably need at least six a day. If he has neuropathy, my husband had neuropathy from the knee down. He couldn't, his, his legs were almost black from the veins because he drove um, long haul trucking his, for his whole life, owned trucking companies, drove. I mean, he was always in a truck for 47 years. Um, he had complete neuropathy. He could not feel his feet. He could not walk in bare feet. He did, could not wiggle his toes. He could not um, feel them, period. His legs were ice cold from the knee down. They're perfectly fine now. The color's all back. They're not black. He walks in bare feet. It's unbelievable. That's in two and a half years. So did it take some time? Of course it did. But how long has he had this? 
for 15 years that bad at least so you know this is what i mean it's we can't look at it as a miracle we have to look at it like vitamin d if we were deficient in vitamin d and we were starting to get rickets we would certainly start taking our vitamin d consistently wouldn't we and same thing if we you know if we have a vitamin b deficiency or a vitamin c deficiency we're going to get scurvy we're going to be sick we have to understand what this is and once we do and we take it properly so that young man would have to take six a day for um i don't know ron i would say at least two weeks right oh yeah you know and one thing i would like to say too you know when we take a medication when the symptom goes away the doctor takes us off the medication we are talking nutrition that the body needs for life so there is no taking it for six weeks and stopping it's taking it for life so your body for life has the ability to, best, to be the best it can for life, no matter how old that happens to be. And we're going to have a better life. We did, we've got to get away from the thinking and the terminology of disease. That, that is, we're going to get in trouble if we start naming conditions, because then you know, they're going to be all over us, and we're not going to have a company left, and that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a really important thing that I would appreciate if you guys would address because I don't know what we, can, what we can and cannot say. I know we can't use the word diabetes, but we can use the word blood sugar. Yes. You know, it's really interesting because if you take the word disease and slow it down, then you're okay because it's dis-ease within the body. So we're having uneasiness in the body, and we've got to get rid of the, the congestion, the inflammation. And once that happens, then there's ease in the body, and we won't have dis-ease, disease, and then you start putting labels on it. we got to get away from labels. Yeah. Okay, so the inflammation is fine, any label is not. Correct. Okay, well that's good, that's very helpful. Yes. Um, we've got another question here from Cheryl asking about her 91-year-old dad who had difficulty with his type 2 diabetes and blood pressure for about a year now. Too dizzy, faint, feels not even good enough to really do too much at all, can't feel his feet. This is not at all who he normally is. He wasn't on any medication at all until last summer. So I'm not exactly sure what she's asking. Probably how much should he take? Yes, well, um, he, he, he definitely he needs am Amulin regardless. Mm -hmm. I mean, he needs it and it's very obvious because the inflammation is starting to take its toll on him. And this is what happens. You see, people are healthy. They think they're healthy. You are not healthy. If you don't have amulin in your body, you are not healthy. You have low-grade inflammation that is maybe being handled at this point. But at some point, like the 91-year-old man, it gets out of control. So you want to control it now. And, you know, this is why we say even, you know, unborn babies, the, you know, the mother should be taking amulin because... Oftentimes, it's the reason the baby's born predisposed with dis-ease and not feeling well and, uh, you know, right at the doctor with all of these challenges is because the inflammation has already affected that new little baby. This is so, so sad and, and so unnecessary. So he should be taking more of a saturated dose. I would think he was, should be taking four to six right away until he starts feeling better. Now, that might happen in seven days, it might happen in two weeks, but it might, he might have to take a saturated dose longer. Or he might have to go from six and then go down to four, you know, and then go down to three and stay at three because he's older. I've always taken an extra one because I want to make sure that I'm, my bloodstream is saturated with emulin regardless. And emulin care has a 48-hour half-life, so if you do not take it, for a couple of days, you're going to hold a saturated amount, about 750 milligrams, for 48 hours. So you're usually okay for a couple of days. After that, by the third day, it starts to leave your bloodstream, and you'll start to feel effects of inflammation again. And, and another thing, if, if someone has a history of diabetes or prediabetes, and they're monitoring their blood sugars, you need to continue to do that while you're on Amulin because you may have to start reducing the medication you're on. You need to work very closely with your physician because what we've noticed is people actually do come off metformin 
Um, at times, their insulin's reduced, so it's really, really important that you keep very close tabs on what's happening with your, your blood sugars because you don't want to go into a crisis and start having really low blood sugars. And it, Emula is not going to cause the low blood sugar, but the combination of the medication in, involved there will potentially put you at risk. So m please monitor and work with your physician. Yes. That's great. And I see that, you know, we're actually, the, the expiration is July two, 2019. Um, I'm assuming that the new shipment is going to be in prior to that? Yes, it, it should be in in a couple of weeks, I would imagine, because it was, yeah, <laughs> Ricky and Claudia, it's, it was ordered um, immediately when they announced, um, even prior to when they announced that we would be bringing Emulin into Valentis. Mm -hmm. Pre-launch, so it's been in the process for quite some time. Okay, great. So, what would you suggest for? Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking of Sonia. How how many bottles should she buy to last her until we have it in stock, so her son can get six a day? Yes. Well, probably I would say three or four bottles. I I I'd want to be protecting myself a little bit there, adding it a little bit. And what if she still has it and some of it left in July? Let's say still, she still has some July 15th. Is that still going to be good to use? Absolutely. Oh, it is. Because the, the expiry date is July, but it's going to, um, you know, that's put there for a reason. It's really right. protection. It's, it's a law. But often, you know, most things, I mean, I was in the skincare industry and I had the same thing. I had to put an expiry date on my organic skincare. But it was good for, for, even with skincare, which is really, really temperamental because of heat. This is a, you know, a powdered product. So if this is kept in a cool, dark place, you, you'd probably be good for at least another year, maybe even two after the expiry date. So okay. I wouldn't worry about that at all at this point because going into the fall, you'd be fine. Um, it's, it's just that it ha it's, it's a law. They have to have an expiry date, but it's, it, once, once July hits, they will will not be able to sell that product anyway mm -hmm. because it is against FDA to sell an expired product. Yeah, I understood that, but then I just wanted you to express that. Um, we have two people on my team who have children with Panda. Do you know what that is? Uh, it was it, you know someone asked me about it or asked Dr. Aaron's about it recently. Um, he answered a question for me on it. Um, Christina, are you, Christina, are you willing to unmute yourself and talk with her about your daughter or Kathy Forrest? Hi, Jana. I talked to you last night. We were talking over Messenger about Kylie. I sent you her video. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, she's, she, God, she was just amazing. Yeah, she's, she has made so much improvement. And today, I mean, to, normally the, the day after she has her treatment, she wakes up and she is just nauseous and has headaches and she's just absolutely miserable. And this morning she woke up and I have to tell you, she came in and she was happy and smiley just like she was last night. And um, she didn't have any headaches. She wasn't sick. She hasn't thrown up at all, which is to me the only thing that we've done different this month than we've done in the last year and a half with these treatments is adding the Emulin two weeks ago. And so, to me, this was a godsend for me. Like, honestly, I, I won't let her go without it. No. Oh, my goodness. You know that, and, well, we hear this all the time. We've been hearing this for two and a half years. That's why we're so, you know, we were frantic when we, we, we didn't know if we were going to be able to get it. And, you know, uh, just, I'm just, I'm so grateful to Dave Jordan and Joyce. But I'm just so grateful to them for seeing it the light <laughs> and knowing yeah, that's awesome. what this brings to human health. We're getting and a lot of background right now. I'm going to mute everybody again. And Jana, if you will unmute yourself and um, also um, Christina, you'll need to unmute yourselves. There we go. Okay, good. Okay. Christina, you as well. And Kathy Forrest, if you're on and you have any specific questions about Panda, ask away. This is your opportunity. Hi. Um, my son is 22, almost 23, and has pandas. And we have not been doing the um, IV therapy. 
So from what I'm understanding, you're saying I need to start him with about six tablets a day? Yes, yes. Okay. And I would spread those out. I wouldn't give them to him all at once. Um, you know, I would start him out with one or two in the morning. You might even want to space them a little bit. And, you know, maybe two in the afternoon and then two at dinner time, kind of like that. Um, okay. If he's able. If he's able to take two at a time and that's not a problem, then that's great. But, okay. yeah, he would probably need six a day. Um, and you might see a difference in him, you know, in a week or, or five days. or Because once your bloodstream is saturated, and that usually takes three to five days, people start to see changes. So just, you know, be observant of him. And I, I think you're going to be quite surprised. I really do. I'm um, so thankful to have something that uh, is possibly going to really make a difference in his life. Yes. Um, well, I need to... Um, have him take these with food? Um, the, 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 the advantage taking it with food is you um, lessen the calories in the meal about a third. So okay. if that's not an issue for him, then I wouldn't worry about it. But you don't have to take it with food. Okay. Thank you Kathy. so much. I think Santa, can I say something to Kathy? Yes. Um, Kathy, Kylie is 11. And so she only weighs like 80 pounds. And you know, I don't know how your, your son's done with different types of supplements and medicine, but Kylie has always been super sensitive to everything we've tried her on. So she has to take a lot smaller of a dose of everything that we've ever tried. So for the first, I think it was seven or eight days, I only gave her one a day. And then we slowly increased for four days to like two. And then we just got, like I think we're on day three of doing three a day with her at her weight. And I mean, it has made all the world of difference. The dilating of her pupils are gone. Um, her pupils are no longer dilated. She's not getting frustrated. She, she did have a small meltdown before I went to three a day, and, but it lasted like 10 minutes as opposed mm -hmm. to an hour and a half to two hours that we've seen prior to that. So, Kathy, I know how you feel with pandas. Like, it is probably the hardest thing to see your child go through and to see them hurting and you not be able to stop. And so to see her come in and do her happy dance that she did last night and get to share that with all of you guys is, is the most amazing thing to be able to go and share this and see, see what it's doing for this little girl's life. She was so adorable. I, I couldn't believe it. I think a lot of the difference with Johnny's age, um, because he was uh, about 14 when he got it, and we searched for years trying to find out what was wrong with him, and he was extremely suicidal. Oh, my God. Yes. Kylie's done that, too. We've had to hospitalize her twice. Um, He's no longer suicidal now, thank God. Oh. But no one should have to go through that. No. No. And no. so all the wrinkles that I've gotten in the last few years, <laughs> this will help with that too. It will. <laughs> <laughs> and having a sense of humor helps us. But I, I can guarantee you your son will have some some positive benefit from this. And it was like my son had been on it for two and a half years before things went sideways. And it was ugly. It was really ugly. And the behaviors were, you know, in, in any other situation, he would have been hauled off to hospital and probably medicated with a whole bunch of other medications. But because he was with my family, that didn't happen. Four days and I was getting text messages to say he's behaved or his behavior has changed. The happy wow. boy is back. The anxiety is gone. I mean, this is a kid that could hear a dog barking so far off in the, the distance and it would make him jump over a couch and climb the wall. He was terrified. Mm. It, um, 
And we know that infl or anxiety, there is an inflammatory part, part piece to anxiety. And if we can reduce anxiety, we can, or reduce inflammation, we can reduce the anxiety and, and there'll be some relief. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Um, I hate to call this to a close, but unfortunately, we are dictated by time. Jana is in our Love Unleashed team group. And Jana, if you wanted to invite um, Ron and um, Fiddlesticks, I'm so bad with names. Eileen. Eileen, if you want to invite them into the group, that would be great. So if anybody has questions, I'd love it if you would ask and answer the questions inside the group because we would all learn in the process. Um, and for right now, for the Love Unleashed team, we we are supposed to be on Karen's group, uh, yes. Karen's team call. And um, shoot, I just had it in front of me, the phone number, and just lost it. Here it is, 712-432-0075. Everybody's welcome, of course. And the code is 276751. So we all need to switch over and go to that call. And I want to thank you so much, Jana and Eileen and Ron. I think it's Ron, right? Yes. So much for you guys coming and sharing with us. On, on the, we're just so appreciative. I'm so excited. I mean, I am like bucking tears right now myself, just knowing how much we are going to be able to make such a huge impact. And I just say thank you, Lord, so much that I am at this company because I just think we are the place to be. We are going to have such a positive impact on everybody's lives going forward more than we have in the past, which is really exciting. So thank you so much for all of you coming and sharing with us. We really appreciate it. And for anybody whose question didn't get answered, just please ask it inside of our group and tag, tag Jana, and we'll all watch. Is that good for everybody? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Good night, everybody. God bless you all. <laughs>